Have you ever wondered how traders determine when to buy or sell Bitcoin? Well, one metric that they use is the taker buy sell ratio. This ratio measures the balance of big point between buy volume and sell volume in Bitcoin's futures market. A value greater than one indicates more buying activity, while a value less than one suggests more selling activity. Recently, there has been a decline in Bitcoin's taker buy sell ratio indicating that profit-taking activity is gaining momentum. This shift in the metric aligns with the market's recent consolidation markets and its struggle to move higher. It seems that participants are more interested in short-term gains during this phase of price stability. And to further support this observation, Bitcoin's open interest in the futures market has been steadily declining. When open interest decreases, it suggests that Traders are closing out their positions, uh, which often leads to a potential reversal uh, in the market's direction. Um, uh, but what about the holders of uh, Bitcoin? Uh, are they also realizing profits um, according to the spent output profit ratio? Uh, both short and long-term holders have been able to sell their Bitcoin at a profit. The SOPR measures the degree of profit and losses incurred by holders over a given period of time. Currently, the short-term holder SOPRA is 1.01, while the long-term holder SOPROS SOPRA is 1.28. And all these indicators point towards a trend of profit taking in the Bitcoin market. Traders and investors are capitalizing on the recent price rally to secure their gains. That'll be interesting to see uh, how this affects the future price movement of Bitcoin. And now for a little Joe, why did the Bitcoin go to therapy? Because it had too many ups and downs. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time.